converting between hours, minutes and seconds. Here's your mental starter. Don't forget to have a go at naming the 3D shape. Pause the film when you're ready and then restart to mark. Your 3D shape is a pyramid, but because we can't actually see what the shape is on the bottom, it could be a square based pyramid. It could have four points on the corner here. So it could have a square base. It could equally just have three vertices. So it could have a triangular base. So it could be a triangular based pyramid as well. Either answer is correct. So we're looking at converting between units of time, seconds, minutes and hours. So the first thing I want you to do is have a think about each of these statements. How long would it take? How long would you measure the time in? Hours, minutes or seconds? How long you spend at school in a day? How long it takes to drive to Scotland? How long it takes to run around the playground? The length of a TV programme? The time it takes to blink? How quickly you can do star jumps, 10 star jumps? and the time taken to tie your shoelaces. Now some of them, our answers might vary slightly. So let's have a look. The time you spend at day, school in a day is hours. How long it takes to drive to Scotland is also hours. How long it takes to run around the playground can be measured in minutes. Length of TV show, I would say either minutes or hours and minutes is acceptable because you can have TV programs that will go over an hour long. The time it takes to blink, seconds. I think this one depends on how fit you are. The time it takes you to do 10 star jumps, it could be seconds. If you're not very fit, it might be minutes. And the time taken to tie your shoelaces. Again, if you know how to tie your shoelaces, it can be done in seconds. But if you're not very good at it, it might take you more than a minute. So we're looking today at how to change time from minutes to seconds and how to change time from hours to minutes. So the magic number today is 60. There are 60 seconds in one minute. There are 60 minutes in one hour. So if we are to change between minutes and seconds, we need to think about counting in multiples of 60. One minute is 60 seconds. Two minutes is two lots of 60, which would be 120. Three minutes is three lots of 60, which is 180. Four minutes, 240 seconds, five minutes, 300 seconds, six minutes, 360 seconds. And it's going to be exactly the same number pattern to go from hours to minutes because there's 60 minutes in one hour. So in two hours, we'd have to do two lots of 60. Two times 60 is 120. Three times 60, 180. Four times 60, 240. Five times 60, 300. And six times 60. 360. Think of it as your multiples of six, your six times table, and add a zero on the end. Now these multiples of 60 are going to be really important for you today. You might want to jot them down the side of your page to help you. I've done that here. So we have to change one minute, 35 seconds, into seconds. So the first thing we do is say, well, okay, I've got to change this minute into seconds. I know there's 60 seconds in one minute. So I'm going to need to add my 60 seconds to my 35 seconds. 60 add 35 is 95. 1 minute 35 seconds is the same as 95 seconds. 3 minutes 20 seconds. Change it into seconds. So we know we need 3 lots of 60 seconds. So this is where writing your multiples down the side of the page is really helpful. 3 times 60 is 180. So we need to do 180 and then add on my 20 seconds. 180 add 20 is 200 seconds. Here's some for you to have a go at. If you're feeling confident, pause the take and do it by yourself. If you're not, just keep watching and do it with me. 4 minutes, 17 seconds. So I need to change my minutes into seconds. 4 times 60. Count down. 60, 120, 180, 240. So I've got to add 240 plus my 17 seconds gives me 257. Now I'm adding it mentally, but if you wanted to do column addition, then make sure you line up your tens and your ones carefully. Two minutes, 56 seconds. Two times 60 is 120. 
add on my 56 seconds would give me 176 seconds. Here's some for you to have a go at, so pause the film and then mark when you're ready. 1 minute 43 would be 60 add 43, which is 103 seconds. 3 minutes 14 would be 180 add 14, which would be 194 seconds. And 10 minutes 35 would be 10 times 60, which is 600, and then plus my 35, 635 seconds. Now, what if we had to do it the other way? What if you were given a time in seconds and you had to change it into minutes and seconds? Well, we're going to have to do the opposite. We're going to have to see how many lots of 60 can we take out of the number of seconds we've got to make whole minutes. Well, the closest one is 60. So I can take one lot of 60. That would be one minute from it. So I'm going to do a subtraction now to see what's left. 83. Take away 60. And I'm going to do this mentally, but if you wanted to use column subtraction, that's fine. Would leave me with 23 seconds. So 83 seconds is the same as 1 minute and 23 seconds. Here's my next one. 135 seconds. 60 seconds. 120. I can take 120 from 135. So that means I can make two whole minutes. And then I've got to see what's left over. 135. Take away. 120 would leave me with 15 seconds. 135 seconds is the same as 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Okay, feeling confident? Pause the film, have a go by yourself. If not, do it with me. 320 seconds, let's count down. 1 minute, 2 minutes, 3 minutes, 4 minutes, 5 minutes. 5 minutes is 300 seconds, so 320 take away 300 would leave me with 20 seconds left. So we say 320 seconds is the same as 5 minutes and 20 seconds. 473 seconds, 1 minute, 2 minutes, 3 minutes, 4 minutes, 5 minutes, 6 minutes, 7 minutes. I can take make 7 minutes from that. And let's see what's left over. We had 473 and we've taken 420 from it, leaving me with 53 seconds, 7 minutes and 53 seconds. Here's some for you to have a go at, so pause the film and then mark it when you're ready. 210 seconds, I can make 3 minutes from it and I've got 30 seconds left over. Or we could say 3 and a half minutes because we know 30 seconds is half a minute. 295, 1, 2, 3, 4. I can make four minutes from it. 295, take away 240 would leave me with 55 seconds. Four minutes and 55 seconds. Right. Here we've got hours and minutes, and we're being asked to change it into minutes. It's exactly the same thing. Change my hour into minutes first of all. One hour is 60 minutes. And I need to add on 42, giving me 102 minutes. Two hours, change it into minutes, 120. And I need to add on my 38. Again, if you can do a mental calculation, brilliant. If not, do column addition, 158 minutes. Here's some for you to have a go at or do it with me. Six hours. 6 times 60 to get it into minutes is 360. And then we need to add on the 13 minutes we have as well, giving me 373 minutes. 3 hours, 60, 120, 180 minutes. And we need to add on 48, giving me... 218 minutes. Four and a half hours. One, two, three, four. 240 minutes. And I know that half an hour is 30 minutes. Giving me 270 minutes. Okay, pause the film, have a go. One hour is 60 minutes, plus our 52 minutes, 
would give me 112 minutes. Three and a half hours, three hours is 180 minutes. Half an hour I know is 30, giving me 210 minutes. Right, here I've got the time in minutes and I'm being asked to show it as hours and minutes. So I need to look down and say, well, okay, how many whole hours can I make? How many can I take from 100 minutes? I can only take one whole hour. That would be 60. So the calculation I need to do to find out what's left would be 100 minutes minus 60 minutes, which would give me 40 minutes. 100 minutes is the same as one hour and 40 minutes. 156 minutes, change it into hours and minutes. Let's see how many whole hours we can make. One, two, two whole hours. Now, two whole hours are 120. So the calculation we're going to do is 156 minus 120, which gives me 36 minutes left over. 156 minutes is the same as two hours and 36 minutes. Here's some for you to have a go at or do it with me. 214 minutes. One, two, three, I can't go any further, so I can make three hours from it. So the calculation I'm going to do is 214 minus 180, giving me 34 minutes left over. 400 minutes, one, two, three, four, five, six, I can take six hours from it. So 400 minus 360 would give me 40 minutes left over. Here's some for you to have a go at, so pause the film and then check your answers when you're ready. 236 minutes, we can make three whole hours. That's 180. So we're going to do 236 minus 180, which would give me 56 minutes left over. And 416 minutes, if I scroll down, I can see I can do six hours, which is 360. So I'm going to do 416 minus 360, which would be 56 minutes again, 6 hours and 56 minutes. You're now ready to have a go at the calculations. I would strongly advise you to write the multiples of 60 down the side of your page. So bronze, you're switching between minutes and seconds. You've got an activity on Tuesday, which is 